In the previous video, we discussed the two extremes of a test level. The first one was unit tests, meaning we were testing one unit isolated from the rest. And the other extreme was system test, or black box test, where we were testing the whole system together. But the question is, is there something in between? Is there a case that I need more than unit tests and less than system tests? Yes, in fact, there is. And a very good example is as soon as you have an integration with an external system. For example, let's suppose your application talks to a MySQL database. And then you have this data access object, and this class talks to the database via SQL queries, for example. And you want to test not the whole system, but only the interaction between this part of the system, this class, and the database. When you do this, we call it an integration test. So you see, it's something in between. It's not a unit test because you're not testing it in isolation because you go to the database, but it's also uh, not a system test because you're not testing the whole system together, but just a small piece of it. The ISQTB book defines integration tests when you test interfaces between components or interactions uh, to different parts of the system, such as the OS, file system, hardware, or interfaces between systems. So that is the idea. When you're testing one component of your system, talking to another component of your system, and usually an external one. As you can see, while the advantage is that you're really testing an important uh, interaction of your system, the disadvantage is that it's just more complicated than a unit test. And in this example, if you're doing an integration test with a database, then we need to set up a database uh, in first place to, to make the test to work. Then we need to make sure that the database has the right schema, meaning the database needs to be correctly configured for my test. Then I need to insert roles into my database, because probably my test will require the database to have some data already. And the data stays forever because it's a database. So this means after every test, we need to make sure we clean up the database. So there's always more work to do when it's an integration test. And if you're going to apply integration tests to a web service, for example, you will face similar problems. You will need to make sure that your web service is available, that your web service is in a state that you can execute these, uh, and so on and so forth. Integration tests are very useful, but also very hard to write. And it's your task as a software tester to decide when to write integration tests and when not to write integration tests.